usually synonymous with holiness and powerful religious values. However, when paired with a four-piece hardcore industrial band from St. Louis, the name Voice of God takes on a whole new meaning. A Voice of God show is a relentless attack on the senses, musically and visually, with their twisted philosophy on anti-religion symbolically looming within the entire performance. But let's let Voice of God introduce themselves to you and spread the gospel behind the band. Vox Day vocals, guitars. Punky Day, his brother, guitars. Zoom Zoom, battle and bass. John 316, vocals and samples. We grew up at the orphanage together. We were... <laughs> We were abused by priests growing up, and Zoom was the altar boy. <laughs> We've been together for like almost a year now, just just right at probably nine months. Yeah, well basically uh, we're non-believers in Christianity or any other religion for that matter, and, uh, and uh, uh, we think that religion does more harm than good. Why, why do we pick on religion, basically? Why? Because we're, it, it, we're pissed off about it. That's why we pick on religion. We pick on Catholics more than anyone else because they have the cool clothes. That's basically it. And, uh, you know, if, if Pentecost wore cool clothes, we pick on them too. They don't. We're, no, we're, san, we're Santanic. We <laughs> worship Santa Claus. And, and Carlos Santana. Carlos Santana. And Carlos Santana. And Carlos Santanic. Well, especially when Carlos Santana dresses up as Santa Claus. Ooh. Heaven. Uh, the song 22 Disciples has a lot to do with uh, mass, following blind faith, things like that. A lot throughout the song has the uh, ritualistic chanting and, and answering of uh, and repeating what the preacher says and things like that. It's got a lot to do with that. It also has to do with whatever you would like it to. The clip you're about to see is for uh, 22 Disciples, I believe. 22 Disciples. I believe that's the one. It was, uh, it was directed by Martin Scorsese. And... 